has the industry changed over 20 years, you know, from the time you joined to now? I'm talking well, about the venture capital industry. I, I think a lot about that. It, it, has, it has materially changed. So when I think about when I got in the business, um, all of our effort was on how software can fundamentally bring efficiency to our life, right? What's better software for doctors? What's better software for teachers, supply chain managers, or consumers on the internet? And you fast forward today, we're actually redesigning all the core pillars of society, right? We're actually building new healthcare services. We're building new insurance companies. We're building new schools, uh, all you know, digitally powered. So what does that mean? Um, that means we've gone from efficiency to efficacy in terms of the value proposition of the companies uh, that we're building. And the second thing is we've gone from being a technology vendor to uh, actually redesigning these core services in society. So if technology was 1% of the budget that we were serving for these markets 20 years ago, we're going after the entire 100% of the budget. What does that mean? Well, a billion dollar win used to be amazing in the early 2000s, and, and now you're actually seeing $100 billion companies being built. So everything has changed in terms of um, the size and scope of the ideas, and therefore the responsibility that we have in how we manifest those ideas. Well, I'm looking forward to you know, diving deeper into that. Is there one story of one of the, your portfolio companies or companies you've had a you know, hand in, um, in investing in or being on the board and, and nurturing them that illustrate that? Is that? Would that Stripe be that, for example? Yeah, look, I mean, I think the, the one uh, I would give you is actually, uh, in, maybe because I'm spending so much time in healthcare right now, it would be Livongo, uh, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're, we're building, uh, Livongo is not part of Teladoc, um, and we can go into that story later, but we're actually building a service that helps 32 million consumers in the United States that have diabetes and other comorbidities. We essentially help them manage their health conditions and live normally. That's, that is different from giving them an app that they could use to collect data and, and then go see their doctor and get care, right? So the, it's, it's sort of a fundamentally different mindset of uh, how we approach the problems now. Yeah, well, I want to talk about uh, Lavongo if we don't you know, come back to that, because it was it was a heck of a story over the last year. And you you had a ringside seat from from my understanding and still involved in the in the uh, the company. Yeah. Bought it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll come back. Um, but you know what? I'm going to get ahead of what is is very typical when we have a uh, venture capitalist in this series over the years. And that is what about students who are considering a career in it? And, you know, do you, can you give some advice to that? Yeah, look, um, it's, a, it's a really interesting way to spend time. And you can think about this, first of all, sort of why do it, right? You can think about it as it's, uh, it's a career for going and doing financial transactions and deals. Or you can think about it as it's a great vehicle for creating impact in the world and society that you care about and sort of focusing on enabling entrepreneurs that are working on those kinds of problems. So like, is this sort of a serendipitous, you know, uh, you're selling money, not to sound crass, or is this sort of a vehicle for intentionally going and creating change in the world? So I would just say, given the evolution of our role as a technology diaspora, and what we're trying to do in this digital transformation, intentionality matters. Uh, Mm -hmm. So go in it for the right reason, I suppose is my first comment. The second is, it is a very competitive industry because so much of, and you see this in the stock market today, technology stocks are highly overvalued and everything else is highly undervalued, generally speaking. It's because um, so much value is accruing to technology-led businesses. And uh, so a lot of capital is coming in, which means capital gets further commoditized. To, so w- you have to think about what are you going to develop as your core skills so that the entrepreneurs want to work with you? And I, and I generally believe having gone and done uh, real work building companies gives you empathy for the problem and uh, of entrepreneurship. And so I think that's one piece of advice. And the second, again, is become an expert at something. So if you are going to get into it, get into it with a point of view. And, you know, I can say this from my personal experience. It took me a long time to figure out how to do this. 
uh, and I've, I failed a lot. And so you do need, do need to have patience and perseverance uh, uh, if you are going to get into this. That's a very important trait uh, because you can't really learn. There's a lot to learn uh, to get this right. 